uh, turn on all the lights. I hope it's gonna be good. It reminds me a lot of, um... Uh, of a game on Cool Math Games, which I played a long time ago. Uh, the premise... It, you turn on the lights. Hey presto. Thank you all for stopping by. And... <laughs> no, don't go. Little spinny things. The lights don't turn off. That's nice. Click two points on the wires to test the connection. I have no idea. Wait. The test connection. Oh! That's what it means. That is very nice. Can we turn the lights off? No, you're not able to turn off the lights. Just go through. Turn the little nodes, flip the switch, turn on the lights. This one has a blue bulb. We have, we have a blue thing here. I'm assuming that means that this won't be able to turn on. Yes. So we're gonna need that. Oh, it turns the turns this blue. Yeah. So it turns from a yellow signal to a blue signal. Hmm. Blue lights indeed. Can't have overly excited lights without RGB. That's true. The pure pure gaming lights here. They connect up the blue light. And the red light. See, I have no idea how hard this game is going to be. There is 40 levels, though. It'll probably take around an hour to complete. Now we have great RGB lights. Uh, this is the pure gamer puzzle game. 100%. It's annoying that my mouse likes to double click at times. And uh, we can turn. Yeah, the blue signal goes into here and then it gets turned into a red signal. Nice. It'd be cool if, um, I'm not sure if there is this, the, like, community-created puzzles would be cool, like a puzzle maker. One and two, what does this do? Yeah, that doesn't work, putting the wires through here. You need to go from the one to the... Oh, because it even has a little outlet. Okay. Slowly introducing the new mechanics. Very nice. So now we have one, two, and three. Connect that. And then here... Oh, we can just bypass the whole system. Oh. And there we go. <laughs> He has played mini metro since Munch is Blind. He has played mini metro. A mini metro is a fun game. I do quite like mini metro. Um, blue. Let's turn on the red light first. Yeah, that way we can go up and around. And then we go through the blue signal. And then we turn that light on. Level 10, quarter of the way through. Ah! A uh, huge jump up. Okay, what do we do here? We go up, so we're aiming to turn on this light. Go through one, go through two, and three. That turns on the blue light. Now to go to the red, we need to go down, up, across, over, and up. That turns on that top light. And then the light which the snack is hiding. Thank you, snack. We can just bypass everything. Okay. Eleven. Oh no. Ooh. Oh, the things are about to get complicated really fast. Okay, let's turn on the red. I like this, though. 
And now I turn on the blue. It's like a tiny little microcontroller. That, that's nice. And then it shows what level you're on up here. Oh, and we even have two outputs here. Okay, let's turn on the red. Yeah, if we turn it downwards, then it's going to have the output out here. We need to... Ooh, this is nice. Whoops. I, I need to make it blue. There you go. You have to get space cam. It's amazing. It gets 100 out of 10 for puzzle games. I might do that next. Okay, now we have a red, green, and blue. Let's turn on the red first. Ooh, now we have two inputs, one output. Yep, let's do red. And then blue. Oh. There's the oh, we need to need to set this up. See, I also liked the um Ah, oh, the Watchdogs puzzle game. Or like whenever you would hack through stuff in Watchdogs 1, 2, and I believe 3. I haven't played the third Watchdogs yet. I always like that. Okay, so we need to go through the second signal. Um, let's bypass this. Go through here. And then go up, across, and through. Then turn on the red. Lovely. Level 16. Getting a lot more complicated. Let's turn on the red first. Now we have three layers. Because two wasn't enough. Okay. Go through red. One, two, three. Okay, red now turns on. Let's turn on blue. Goes through one, two, and three. Now we have blue. Lovely. Can't wait for you to have to go down five layers to turn on a simple light. I wouldn't doubt it. Okay, let's turn on the red. Yes. Oh, we need to go all the way around... Wait, so... We have three outputs, one input from here. So let's actually turn on the blue signal first. So this is our input. We need to go down, across, into one, into two, into three. Okay, so that turns on blue. So... Ah, we... Okay, let's go... Why do we have two red signals? That... I don't think we need the two red signals. Oh, well, we need to take... Yeah, I think that might be a red herring. Pretty sure. Yeah, that works. Or we just route the power around. Level 18. What is this? Converts red to blue? Yes. Okay. How is that going to be used? Level 19. We're almost at level 20. And if we see a similar jump up in complexity between level 9 or between level 9 to 10, then we should see that level 20. Reasonably more complicated. Let's turn on the blue signal. And we turn on the red signal. There we go. Level 21. Um, let's work on the top red. Two, okay. Um... Okay, let's change this here. So, 
our input actually needs to be here, so that way we can convert red to blue, then blue to red, and then go out here. That turns on the red signal. Converting the blue signal, we can bypass the flipper flopper, and then we're good. And then we change the blue to red, goes through the 1 and the 2, through the top signal. Hey presto, that's level 21 done! Oh. <laughs> this, is, this is a quite nice game. Um, we have we have a swapping red to green. Let's turn on the red signal. The red is going to be coming through the top. Oh, we have another one through here where we need the red through the top goes around and then through the top. And now the red turns on. Good. Now let's turn on the blue. Where we need to swap from red to blue. Good. Turns on the blue. And now the green. We need to swap these around. Swap that around. Go like so, and flop that around. Did we mess something up? Um, green signal is coming through. Oh, we need to convert it red to green. There we go. Mass Munchkin is becoming a puzzle streamer. It would seem so. You can thank the developer of the game of this game for that because they they sent over a key, which very kind of them. Ah, so the flipper flopper now has a flipper flopper built in to said flipper flopper. Okay. Oh, okay indeed. Flipper flopperception. Apparently this is around a 50 minute game. Hm, not too bad then. I see multiple flippy floppies. Well, what, what do we call the flipper flops and such? The flipper flopperception. The flipper flapper flopper? The flipper flap flop? Okay, so red needs to be here. Blue to green. Bongs? Ah, flip flops. Okay, now I need to convert the blue. Ooh. As it seems to be 40 levels, the last one having four layers of stuff. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. There we go. There's the blue and red. Level 25. What is this? It has like a pager sound. Oh, we need to match that. Oh, oh, there's so much potential in this game for workshop puzzles. Kind of like how Polybridge has it. Okay, so to get a blue signal, then we need this. To get a red signal, then we need this. I like that sound. It has a very, like, 80s sound to it. Oh, we need to flip this around. Good. I figured it would be that. Yeah. Now we go down here, into here. We need a green signal. Just like so. And hey presto. Level 27. Um, no. No. <laughs> no. Okay, there there is a pattern to this. Okay. Um I don't know the trick to these. So here is where the 50 minutes comes in. <laughs> 